The tent pole is a par five that goes really uphill. I remember carrying my own bag walking up this hill and it's a climb. But every single hill is pretty much of a climb. So what we've got to do now is put the ball in the middle of the fairway. So I'm going to aim for that building, the main tall building on top. I think if I miss this slightly to the right, it's still okay. I've got about... Actually, I got about 220 to the pin and the pin is all the way at the back. I'm going to be a bit more aggressive and take a 3-wood. So right now, I've got about 220 to the pin. The pin is stuck at the back. And I'm on an uphill line. So most importantly, I want to make sure that I swing through the ball. So I'm going to rotate through, turn through. Narrow stance. Turn through the shot. The ball leaked slightly towards the right. But I think it's good. So most of the time when you're on an uphill lie, um, most golfers or amateur golfers that I see, they get really stuck on their right foot and they would fall back and then this results on the top so specifically for this lie or all uneven lies you want to make sure that you continue rotating and turn through the shot so now i'm two by the green side and i'm going to check my lie my lie is good ball sitting up pretty okay just as way below my feet as i'm sitting i'm standing on this small mole mount, mount hill and I've got to carry the ball about 40% of the way. Ball lands and then it's going to go right to left. So instead of a sand wedge, I've got a, an approach wedge of 50 degree. So this allows me to take a smaller swing, let it land and let it release up. The ball kick. Oh, the ball did, had a big kick to the left. It's okay, body part. This feels straight, and it's gonna break slight right to left at the end. So I think right lip. Oh, the ball jumped. Not sure what I did there, but did the boy all. Oh. Okay, so this par 4, downhill par 4. So just at the right edge of this building, the right edge of the building, that's where I'm going to aim. And hopefully the ball's going to leak slightly towards the right. And the ball's going to kick down and going to have a wedge towards the green. Oh no! Sit! Oh! Shit! Okay, so I've managed to find my ball. And now I've got no shot. Actually, I have lah. Hit it through these trees into one of these holes and somehow hopefully the ball goes onto the green. I think that's the best option. That's the best option to give myself a double par, that's for sure. So let's just aim right, down the slope, and then three on, hopefully we save a par. And if we don't, at least secure a bogey. So I got nine iron, back of the stance. Roll, some more, go, go. I've got 65 meters to the pin, lob wedge. This is straight for the pin. Spin. Just a bit too long. Oh, 
didn't hit it. We've got 130 to the flag. It's going to be a 9 iron. So 80%, 9 iron, and just fly this all the way to the green. Get in the hole. Ooh. So the ball landed here and he took one big hop and it stopped. So since the last hole we got a bogey, let's make it up for this one. Now this hole is even tighter than the other one. So I think the back nine on, in the Capital Country Club, most of them are really tight. There is really no reason to take out a driver, but since it's going to be the last time that I might play this course, what the heck, right? But course management-wise, please, if you hit anything further than 200 meters, don't take out the driver. Unless you just want to have some fun and lose some golf balls. So I'm going to take it, hit it straight towards that tallest tree at the end on the left side, and just a slight cut back. Oh boy. Okay, I missed the fairway on this one. So I've got lucky. My ball actually carried the tree on the right side. And actually there's another fair there's a fairway, extended fairway on the right side. And I found my ball on the fairway, so lucky me. So right now I've got 67 meters. I'm uphill. I normally would hit 70 meters with my lob wedge, but now I'm hitting it uphill. My lob wedge would have more loft, and I, I do not want that. I still want the ball to come out slightly lower. So I've got a 54 degrees, and I'm going to play 70. Maybe slightly longer. Let's go with 75. 75, and just slightly right of the pin. Okay, that's on the green. All right, so our ball is pin high. And we've got about, I would say, about eight to 10 feet for birdie. So you know what we need to do, right? Fix two ball marks, two more and hopefully we can get another birdie. Yep, so this is ball mark, so I fix mine. I'm gonna fix, fix two, three. You take care of the green, the green will take care of you. This is another really tight par 4. Driver. And I have to aim this. Whatever we're looking at, I just got to aim maybe right side of the fairway. And if it lands on the fairway, it's going to kick to the left. Doesn't suit my eye, you know. I just feel really uncomfortable looking at this. So what do I do? Swing 80%. Trust my feel and start line. 80%. Trust my feel. Okay, I think that's good. On this second shot, I have a very severe downhill lie. So I've got to place it really at the back of my feet. So it's going to be somewhere around here, off my right toe. The ball's gonna come out low for sure, so 
sandwich. Sandwich. I'm gonna hit 70. The ball's gonna come out low. One hop and stop. Okay, par five, dog leg left with water on the right. Normally when I'm faced with this really tight fairways, you don't really wanna go full on on it. Just make sure your swing is smooth. So for me, 80% swing, nice and smooth, down the middle of the fairway. Okay, best, but luckily I didn't go full on at it. Missed it slightly, but did not get punished. Okay guys, now I've got a very adventurous shot. I've only got, see this three in the middle? I'm not sure my three wood can carry that, but I'm about 220 meters to the pin. I have to hit a high, sort of like a high cut back. I don't have this shot in my back, maybe two out of 10. So uh, I'm going to do the 2 out of 10. And if I don't pull this off, this is going to go really bad. So let's think through the process first. Open up the face slightly. Make sure I turn through and commit to the shot. Okay. Wow. That's it. Open up the face, high up, and we're going to turn through. Kick right. Didn't hit it that well. But I think we're pin high for birdie. Okay, straight part. Seems like the hole is in a valley. So I think straight should be good. There you go, straight. <laughs> okay, 119 to the pin. I think we got some downhill. It should be about 5 meters, so 115. Slight headwind, so I think 120 will be good. 9 iron, 3 quarter, just control the distance. Should be good. Not sure, but I think I hit the one twenty. Well, I got really lucky. My ball landed here and it stopped pretty quickly. I think if just one more foot, one more meter, and the ball downhill on the lower tier it's okay tight fairways right in the middle 
hit the cut path. I've got 93 to the pin, ball below my feet. So I can't really make a big swing. Normally I would take a sand wedge for this distance. I've changed to an approach wedge and play this 90 meter shot. Okay. Okay, good. Should be pin high. What a horrible part. Okay, we're down to the last hole. Dog leg left, part four. Draw over the bunker on the left. Okay, good, good. Okay, I've got 107 meters to the pin. The pin is at the back. I've got the flight all the way there. I think I've got some space at the back of the green steel. I just don't want to be short of this green otherwise. Everything's going to slope to the right. Headwind. Just ate some grass. <laughs> 107, headwind. 115. Yeah, I think 115 is a good number. So, pitching wedge. Three quarters. 115. Hmm. Pin high maybe. Okay, we're down to the last hole and the last part. Yeah, when I say last part, it means I want to buddy lah. You know, this course is a really good test of your mind as most of the things that you see on the fairway from the tee box is really tight. And I feel kind of sad that, you know, this could be the last time I'm playing this course. So hopefully this video serves as a good memory and we can look back and tell our friends or even the younger ones that this course has existed. Thanks for watching and may the course be with you.